What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with my war binder and I want to set up my scripture writing and my sermon notes pages for the week of September 13th. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Cam. This is Peace of the Plans and I do hope you find something that inspires you here on this channel. If you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new videos right here for you. If you're already a part of the fam, welcome back. Now today I'm going to be using this uh, Squad Goals sticker book from Happy Planner. It's not the first one. I think I feel like there may have been two Squad Goals sticker books before this one, but this one is really cute. So I want to use these stickers here and these and these and it, yeah it's kind of giving me spring vibes but I'm okay with that I just like the colors and I like the girls and I rarely ever use this book I think I've only ever used it once before and I'm not even sure if I filmed it so um, although I'm buying quite a few planner things I also want to use my stash so I'm just going to use this sticker book today to set up my scripture writing pages and if you want to see how it all comes together just stay right there Last week, my pages turned out nicely. Did all my scripture writing. Today is Saturday. I've already done my Saturday and Sunday scripture writing for this week, so I am ready to go. So let's go ahead and set up for tomorrow, which is Sunday, and for the week ahead for scripture writing. Let's do it. So, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this setup. <laughs> So I'm just going to start by putting down the pieces that I know I want and then I'm going to build my spread around that because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with this um, blue box that says jot it down and I'm going to put that here in this section where it says bills to pay because this is where I typically write something major that was said during the sermon on Sunday. So I use this um, left side over here for sermon notes and then I use the right side for scripture writing. So normally something that is really big that was said during the sermon, I write it on this side. I'm trying to make sure it's straight. Okay, it's pretty straight. It's good enough. All right, and then I'm going to use these girls with the plants in their hand. Super cute for this box up here. I normally put something pretty big up here in this section. So those are the two things that I know that I wanted. Everything else I'm kinda up in the air about. All right, let's do some of these because they're super cute. Um, let's grab this girl right here. Or do I want this one? Now let's do this girl because we haven't used her yet. But let's white out some stuff first. Let's white out these little dots on the side. And we're going to cover this space that says errands. We're going to we're gonna wipe that out. We're going to cover it with something in a little bit. We don't know yet, but we're going to cover it. And I'm going to take this girl, this kind of tall girl, I'm going to put her right here where I just whited out those checklist dots. And I think I'm 
I'm going to cross out where it says to buy. And let's see if I have any headers that kind of go with what I'm trying to do. All right, so we've got noted and we've got jotted down. So let's take the ones that say noted and let's put those in here. Oh, I have one that says today is the day. That's cute, but we'll add it in just a second. And then we'll cross out emails and calls and I would love to use one of these long boxes I just don't know how I would incorporate that though thinking about how it's going to be placed on the page and I don't think I want to do that because I really want to leave myself lots of room to take um, sermon notes so I'm not I'm not going to worry about using that long box at all. I'm going to wipe this section out. I'm going to use this today as the day. I'm going to slide it over. All right, now I think I want to add in some of these flowers that come with this set. So, the only thing about this um, set that I'm using is it has this one little piece of flowers in the corner and they really don't match what I'm up to today. So I'm just going to cover them up super quick. I'm just going to cover them up so they match. Grab my scissors and do a little clip and snip. Clip and snip. And now we have some flowers that match. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing in the other corner. all I'm doing is just layering and these these flowers that I'm putting down they have a white background so it's really easy for me to just layer these up and cover this area if this was clear I would have to go in with some white out but because it has the white background already on it I'm just laying them down any which way to cover this area up. I'm going to move this one flower down just a bit. There we go. And then we'll do another little snip and clip. Alright, I think we're good on that. I'm feeling like I need some washi, but before I go the washi route, let me just um, make sure I have all the stickers down that I want to use first. Okay, I think I want to use this little sticker with the two girls sitting together, like they're having coffee. They could be having a little Bible study together. I think I want to use that down in this corner. And that still leaves me leaves me plenty of room to write. And I think I want to add another small one up here in the middle. With the two girls, either here or here. I think I'm going to do it here. And I like that. I like that a whole lot. Okay. Now I think I either want to put flowers all around or I want to put washi in different places 
Oh, I also need to do this little hanging plant. This little hanging plant is so adorable. You have to use this. This little hanging plant right here. So cute. So I'm going to hang it. Here, I can hang it here. I think I'm going to hang it right here by where it says notes. Perfect. And then this little plant in the potter. I think I want to put it here. And I feel like I want to add one more doll and I want to either add it here or here I think I might add her down here at the bottom love it okay now I'm going to grab my tweezers I think I'm going to put a bunch of the little um, flowers from this sheet all across the top of the page. I think that's what I want to do. So let me do that and then I will be back. BRB. Okay, I have done quite a bit since I talked to you last. <laughs> I added in a few more plants. I added one here, one here. I added the plants across the top, like I mentioned. I also pulled in this washi tape. I don't even know where I got this washi tape from. But um, it, it looked like it kind of matched to me, so I added it in there. Um, we'll see as the days go by if I really love it. Um, I also added in these little header pieces, and I'm not sure if I'm crazy about those either. I mean, they're cute, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay with those either. But we'll try it, and if it doesn't bother me, <laughs> if it doesn't bother me by, let's say, Tuesday, then I'll probably leave it in there. Let me go ahead and date it real quick, though. I'm glad that I was able to um, use these stickers. That I had not tapped into in quite a while that makes me happy to use my stash so that's a plus I'm just adding these dates that came with this extension pack this is the um, the pages that I'm planning on are part of the um, spoonful of faith um, dashboard extension pack so these cute little date numbers they're just plain but I mean they work they work With the numbers on there I think I'm I think I'm feeling it yeah I think I like it I'm put, put these numbers back before I put them somewhere and lose them put them right back here in the uh, pocket all right and I think that's gonna do it so let's go ahead and pop these back into the planner 
All right, so today is Saturday, and I feel really good that I was able to get my um, Sunday Sermon Notes page all set up and ready to go, and my scripture writing for the week, and I actually think it looks cute. Once I put the numbers in, it really popped for me. So yeah, I'm glad I pulled in this sticker book. This is um, Squaggles. And um, I may use it again before it's all said and done because you've got these little planner girls in the back right here. And they could be they could be working in their um, faith journal. You know what I'm saying? They could be doing a, um, a little planner faith meetup. <laughs> You know, you always got to have a little story in your head that goes along with your planner dolls, and they could definitely be doing that. They're super cute. So anyway, for today, we are done. The pages are set up and ready to go. The main thing I wanted to do was get my sermon notes uh, page ready so that when um, I'm doing, I'm still doing virtual church, y'all. I'm not, I'm not going back into the building just yet. But um, as I watch my Sunday service on Facebook Live, I can take my notes and this has been very very helpful this whole um, layout of this dashboard um, planner has been very very effective for me in terms of taking my sermon notes and doing my scripture writing for the week there have been a couple of days when the scripture passage was pretty long but I just chose one verse for, for example, if there were two or three verses that were in the passage for the day, I just chose my favorite one for that day and wrote it in this section. So um, if you were looking to follow the inscribe the word plan that I have been using, that's just a note for you. That sometimes some of the scriptures are a little bit lengthy, but I just choose the one that speaks to me the most and I write it in the space I have available for the day. All right, so that's going to do it for me for this video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new content right here for you. I hope that if you are doing scripture writing this year, I hope it's going well. And I hope that your week is full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.